YouTube, I'm back in the building. This is the terrific Tuesday night crew. We start out with just three, and we're going to wind up ending with five. Right now, I've got the homie, Muchella, who hang with the fellas. Ooh. And then I've got everybody's <laughs> favorite diva is Nita. Ladies, how y'all doing tonight? Thank you, guys. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. How you doing, Muchi? I'm fine. I'm doing good with family. Right. Enjoying <laughs> Yeah, yeah. chilling, chilling, chilling. You know, and, and uh, I ain't even gonna dry snitch on you, Moochie, like somebody <laughs> did last night. Somebody but. was dry snitching all on what uh, Moochie was up to. So Ooh. I ain't, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna dry snitch on Moochie like that. I'm gonna just say <laughs> Moochie is chilling, doing her family support <laughs> thing. That's what she's doing. <laughs> and so, know, right? ladies and gentlemen, we are back to put our bow on power. Book four force the finale. This crew is going to put the bow on the icing on the cake. After this, we're going to be doing prediction videos. There's going to be interviews coming. So you guys subscribe to everybody's channel and go ahead and check me out on IG and Twitter. And let's get Nita's opinion of what happened. So Nita the Diva, you always be having some of the hottest takes on the planet. <laughs> what? Oh. Me? Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ne Nita, Nita, yeah, that tongue ain't red for nothing. That tongue ain't red <laughs> uh -oh. for nothing. We ready for you to go and let that fire out like you Game of Thrones dragon. <laughs> Tell us how you felt, Nita, about this finale, what you liked, what you didn't like. And you know I wrote down your predictions. I've been waiting yeah. for Tuesday. And I was, the, I I was about to start off with my prediction of Diamond. Okay. Now listen. You guys, I didn't mind whether or not he went or it was it wasn't a big deal to me because he wasn't showing me anything that the writers they weren't giving me anything for him. Like, you know, I was holding on, but at the same time, I was just like, he's not giving anything. So mm. I was disappointed in what he gave, even though he stepped up. Mm -hmm. He stepped up a lot, and I but I was really, really, really disappointed that he dropped the ball on his brother. And I, I guess you can call that a code. You have a code, you have a standard. You know, I, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and give it to him for being a stand-up guy, or whatever. But in the streets, that's not how that plays out. And so I really think he did something he, uh, he still set himself up you might as well just let Jam Janar take you out because i don't know what you're gonna be doing you still gonna be watching your back mm. and, you mm. know in the long run but the weakest link for me vic take him <laughs> off i've been told y'all i wanted him dead with gloria when gloria died in that shootout he needed to, <laughs> to turn up dead too <laughs> this is terrible oh my god yes just oh my god just no he needs to go um over this <laughs> so much lord so, have mercy so but um so, who else uh marshall got my oh and he didn't even make it into the episode y'all we don't know if that was him in the back of the car <gasps> Ooh, that time he took out with that one geez. shot, that one headshot. Yeah. I'm just saying, I don't want it to be him. It could just been random shooters from CBI, but it could have been him. Mm, interesting. I like that. It could have been. So if it, if it was him, are you saying he's the one that led CBI to where D-Mac was hiding his daddy's stash at? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. There's no other explanation for it, I don't think. Mm -hmm. I feel you on that. Yeah. So while we, while we got Moochie and Nita talking about Diamond, I'm going to come to you in a minute, Moochie, but okay. I want to ask Nita this. Since there is a code, did you notice how Jannard wasn't willing to kill his brother with his bare hands, and neither was Diamond willing to kill Jannard? And, you know, I asked Jay Moore last night. I was like, well, if you put a hit on him, how is that different from you just shooting him yourself? And Jay said it's more weight on your conscience if you pull the trigger yourself versus you get somebody else to do it. Right. I I, I, I don't feel that because either way, if you, if you kill somebody, whether you put – if you put it in motion to kill somebody, it's going to all feel the same to me. I agree. But, but what I want to know from you, 
if neither one of these two want to kill each other, how is their little beef going to come to an end? Um, Jannard is going to be the one to move that forward. He's going to move the needle forward because Jannard seems to be the greedier one. Oh. You know, once we start getting into this whole Dahlia, it looks like he's starting to form some kind of something with Claudia. Mm -hmm. So once we start get getting into, um, you know, just the power of it all, just power and greed and wanting more territory and taking over, just like at the end, what did Tommy say? He want the whole map. Mm -hmm. and, and that that's usually how it works. You know what I'm saying? They really want more and more and more. The more power you get, the more you want. And so mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's going to, you know, it's going to, it's going to be with Jannar. Jannar is going to, he's going to make the move. And Diamond, if he, if he doesn't fall, then um, he's going to have to do the unthinkable to himself. You know, I, I think he feels like that's unthinkable. And and I appreciate that. I value that. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate, you know, the whole thing of the, the kids killing their parents and the, the parents killing their kids and all. I don't like all that stuff. Like, you know, we could, yeah, we could do without that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm cool with that. So um, I appreciate his honor and his code. But, um, hey, Tommy offered. He did offer. I've been like, all right, then. <laughs> Make it happen, Captain. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have a ray of sunshine that has come to the building. <laughs> Always from her beautiful penthouse suite somewhere in New Jersey. It's the homegirl, Miss <laughs> K. Miss K, how you doing tonight? Good. <laughs> how are you guys? Hey. <laughs> we hanging tough, hey, man. We hanging tough. Chat. Yeah. Hello, everybody. It's Miss K. She's in the building. You know, her milkshake come to the yard. Hmm. Uh oh, <laughs> la 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 la. Mm -hmm. So, Miss K. <laughs> oh my God, Miss K. And, oh, look, Miss K. Even the people recognizing Tressa. your swiftness. Tressa's like Miss K. Said she early, early today. today. <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause. Round of applause. Miss she K. late Man, and still early. early. <laughs> Round of applause. But anyway, Miss oh, K. Boy. Yes. Give me your thoughts and opinions on this finale. What you didn't like, what you did like, and guess what, Miss K? I wrote it down. The I prediction. Got the <laughs> I got the receipts. Don't call me Whitney Houston. I got the receipts. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, of course, you know I'm mad that Liliana, she's gone. I think that yes. was premature. I didn't like that. And I already spoke about the fact that I didn't like um, Blanca's presence. I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not, a, <laughs> what, I'm not what, understanding wait a it. Miss K, I got, I, we, ha we have Blanca on speed. Now, Blanca, can you say these famous people's names the way you say them, Blanca? Because I keep you on speed. Now, go ahead, Blanca. Say two names for me. Thomas Patrick Egan. <laughs> Tariq St. Patrick. There you go. I'm hang up the phone. Go ahead, Miss K. I'm, I don't hung up with Blanca, but there you go. Mm -hmm. And don't forget Tasha. Oh my gosh. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that. I just was wondering, like, what? It's just annoying. But um, what else? It was okay. I mean, overall, I guess it was okay. You know, season finale, but. You know, I, I don't know. I don't have too many parts where I'm like, oh, I like this. I like that. I do like the fact that um, Diamond finally turned up. But I, I said it to people already that the person that's going to push him to do that would be his brother. And, you know, because he keeps look how look what he was doing the whole time. You know, even though he didn't um like he didn't know what his brother was up to until the very end. We probably would have saw this side of Diamond earlier, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> he said, "I ain't you ain't trying to catch nobody." He's like, "I'm that's I'm not, you know." But I have to do what I have to do. And if y'all if y'all realize in this part, he lied to him. He did. He actually lied. He said, "You have one chance to walk out of here." 
you ain't going nowhere, bro. So that mm. means that he know how to, uh, you know, lie and to get somebody to say whatever and then don't keep his word and kill him anyway. So he, he, we know he has that ruthlessness in him and mm -hmm. he just finally let it out. Damn. <laughs> he got my man in here looking like a black pirate. Beat the uh -oh. hell up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and one I more mean, thing I'll, Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And one more thing I wanted to say is not about them. Um, I, I obviously like the um that scene at the end with um D Mac and the Graham and Kate and and uh oh yeah JP yeah. looking all happy mm -hmm. and stuff. And I was watching a little bit because some sometimes when you watch once you don't really catch everything. So I was looking at it again, and I see I saw this, but it reminded me that Kate she got some animosity towards her mom. You see mm -hmm. how she was talking about how she calls her the, uh, the see you next Tuesday, and right. and and I think it's because she she probably took made her give up the baby, um and, and that's probably why she's like that. That's see, why now you, my theory that is makes sense. now you are going down Moochie's theory road. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. No, she got disowned. I think she mm -hmm. got disowned. I really do. right. Uh -huh. Right in there, yeah. tearing her mama house up, looking like a damn raccoon, scrapping Ooh. holes and walls. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, ladies and gentlemen, but more for the ladies, I got something lovely for y'all to see. You got them pocketbooks open to start dropping them super chats, coming coming <laughs> all the way from the D, because he said he got big D. It's the it's the uh -oh. homie T. -shirt. Oh dear! Oh dear! Big D, hello. <laughs> this guy here. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh. <laughs> you trying to have? You trying to kidnap you, man? Oh my oh, god! god. Man, what, what, and, and, and have they way with you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this guy what's here. Going on, my brother? What's going on, my brother? From the <laughs> oh, nothing much, what's man. Up? Trying to test out these new leg slings. <laughs> hey, oh, shoot now. Uh -oh. What's up? Now? <laughs> Got something new? Got something hey, new? he bought that action. He bought that action. <laughs> oh, man. So, my brother T, we just wrapping it up about this finale. Give me your likes and your dislikes. And I got a big question I want to ask Moochie once you're done. That involves Moochie. Go ahead and get your mind right, my boy Pauly. Go ahead and be thinking. So T streams, give me the skinny man. What'd you like? What you didn't like? Ooh, man, look here. You know I'm sort of on the fence on this finale, man. Uh oh. All right. Uh oh. I liked it. I, I really did. I, I really did like it. I didn't like that. Liliana was the only one to go. I mean, none of the big water, none of them bums was taken out. And well, T Stream, my little pony died. You had the four little ponies, and all all four of them did. Do that count? Yeah, that yeah count? they now they don't they don't count. They they okay. was they was really inconsequential. You know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. Um. Yeah. So I. Yeah, I, dude, I really, really had a problem with that, man. I was like, you know, I was like, damn, they, Walter, he was dying anyway. He could have just been a, you know, a, a good wheel kill for all I care. You know, <laughs> one of them, you know, one of them should, you know, should have hit the bucket, man. That that really wasn't the way to go. But overall, you know, I still like it. I would have gave it a nine, but now I'm going to give it an eight. Um, you know, I will say this. The way the episode started was classic, you know, was really, really classic, and I loved it. You had Tommy coming out the shadows like Michael Myers. Yeah. Mm. You know, mm. they 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 kept that they kept that energy going with them. But you know, after the you know, after seeing the trailer and you ready for war kid, yeah, and this is for glory and all this other kind of stuff. I just knew, I just knew. That some of us was gonna be right on our keels. You know, dude, I man, look, let me tell you this. When I saw, when I saw uh, Diamond pull that piece, ah, disappointments. That's the page of disappointments. 
Man. <laughs> when I saw Diamond pull that strap on his brother, I oh. had already, I was so far ahead of my feet, man, that I had already grabbed my laptop, was getting ready to hit you up. Was like, bingo, I got it. And before I sat down, my laptop he even turned around and offered the man an ultimatum. I was like, what's <laughs> <laughs> So I, you know, I liked it, but I didn't really know. What, I didn't know what to think, man, because I'm like, well, damn, is, is this how we gonna end this? Yeah. And then next, my my next thought went straight to Moochie. As soon as they showed old girl trying what, to get what, her, <laughs> trying to get her way back down here. What what's her name? Blanca. You know. Uh -huh. Oh my God! I was like, what? The, why even show her? <laughs> like, why? <laughs> You know, just a little while ago, she she, she thought she notified, uh, identified Tariq. Now she all the way in. Now she all the way in Chicago. Oh my She's god! She's doing too much. Honestly, so, honestly, T String, why show her or Jenny? Honestly, for I mean, I mean, just just wait and bring it in the show. I ain't got no hair though. Yeah. Oh yeah, eh. appreciate that, Shabon. Queens looking good. T String looking good. We appreciate you that super chat. But T Stream, we said the same thing. Like, why even bring, why even bring her? Why bring either one of them other than to just, you know, that was the icing on the cake for all the hardcore power fans. Just, just looking for morsels, any morsel to get this thing connected to Tariq. Yeah, that that had to be the only thing. Cause her her appearance, her little cameo, didn't serve no significance whatsoever at least not to me it didn't so i, I don't know yeah. it helped me out because that gave me an opportunity to call on moochie to do the void shout out nah. to <laughs> <laughs> appreciate you my love she sent in a five dollar super chat she said hey peeps shout out to my favorite youtube squad i give the finale eight out of ten but i'm pissed lilian is gone and ladies and gentlemen her link is in video description check this sister out we're going to have her up here next week doing predictions with this crew. So get ready to see her. Now, T-Strings, I got to get Moochie in here, man, because Moochie been in the, bull the bullpen too long. I don't want to get uh -oh. hurt. <laughs> Moochie, I get out. We, Moochie, we kind of <laughs> talked about this last night, and that's my boy Paulie. And Crystal had nothing but pure jokes on Paulie. For one, this dude come to an automatic semi-weapon fight with a damn <laughs> shotgun, okay? <laughs> And then he was using the shotgun and he was pumping it like he had arthritis. So she invited me to go get a clip that embodies what the hell was going on with Paulie when you bring a shotgun to an automatic gun fight. And uh, I want to know what you think. Let me find out it's, it's Harlem Nights. Girl, <laughs> what the hell you think you're doing with that little shit? <laughs> Stop it. Don't shoot that little motherfucker no more. <laughs> that was classic, my man. <laughs> that was balling. What if, that what was if balling. Walter Flynn would have been oh, like, cut oh, the shite. Oh get, rid of the get rid of the shotgun. <laughs> cut That's the what he should have said. That's what he should have said. It was, like, it was like when the bullets start flying, it, he was getting off for a whole 10 rounds. Paul up there pumping like he jack. Damn, Paulie, you brought the wrong weapon, but G Lily done killed three people. You ain't even got a shot out yet. Like, God. Oh my goodness. If Walter Flynn would have said, cut the shite with the shotgun. <laughs> yeah, that would have been so <laughs> that would have been hilarious. <laughs> oh you did it for us. I can picture it right now. I can picture him looking at it. Cut the shite, Pauly. God to. <laughs> <laughs> so Moochie, come on, Polly, get rid of it. <laughs> oh my God! Oh Lord! So Moochie, in all seriousness, with Polly, in the end, you see him over there rubbing um, Dad Flynn's shoulder as he's pouring out liquor. For what reason? Talk to me about what we're gonna do with Polly coming up in the next season. I believe Polly <laughs> lost some respect for Walter Flynn. He should. He lost he some respect for Walter Flynn the way he did his children because he talked, he thought he had him convinced that he was going to really listen to his advice mm -hmm. and bring his children into the business because he already said, you got one that want to take charge. 
Right. And you got one that's in love and you know you can't fight that. So mm. to me, it's like he thought he got through to Walter. He thought he got mm. through to him and then he saw how deceptive he was and I think he lost some respect for him. Yeah. And he yeah. I believe he they pouring out the liquor for his children. Like that's about <laughs> it. Like, yo, he's on this his own. <laughs> that and the horsemen. So- <laughs> the, 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 the little ponies, the little ponies, yeah, my the little, little ponies. Pony crew. I, boy, only thing they was missing was colorful tails on their hind parts. That's all they was missing because they ain't do nothing. Another crew that they hyped up. Now this shit had me mad, man. We you already tell you, that. You want me to tell you where my anger comes from? My anger comes from power when they hyped up cousin Benny. Like he was gonna be the big bad savior because remember at that point in time Tommy was the antagonist, and they let cousin Benny get killed by Tommy in a fucking butter knife. Man, come on! Man. <laughs> and ever since then, Power has been hyping up these characters, only to let them fall at the feet of the gravity of the story. So Nita, I'm coming to you. What you got for Paula? <laughs> You know, I I definitely agree with Moochie about a lot of respect was lost. There was a lot of times that Walter was talking and he kept trying to pull him back. Like, what are you saying? Like, stop it. He was saying like when he was talking to one of the horsemen, talking about you're not your your father's son. And I'm like, well, well, what is Vic? What is, you don't have no place to talk, Walter. What is Vic? Look, we sitting up here, we done messed up the whole thing because he had to save your son because he wanted to go in there off of emotion. And we had to run up out of there with our tails between our legs and not fighting back because we had to get your son back to you alive. So I'm just like, it was a lot of times that he was just like going too far and he kept trying to reel him back in. Like you saying too much, you're doing too much. Mm -hmm, And mm -hmm. I think that it may have some implications because they did speak on it when um, Vic was talking to uh, the people from Dublin and they were saying, that you know we're thinking your father ain't got it together and um yeah so some things might it might be getting shaken up later on in season two because of what is going on he kind of doesn't have control of what's going on and i think that there was so many missed opportunities to take the show to a higher level a different level um Vic, what was the point of him at the end going up? Why? What? Like, come on, do something. If you're going to do something, do like, I want you to make the needle move. Like, I don't want to just keep on seeing all these dramatics and theatrics and stuff like that. I really want to see something, somebody to make a move that's going to actually shift the narrative somewhere different. We're going to move the story on. Like, we're done with Walter and then maybe they have to, you know, Claudia and Vic, mm-hmm. they're going to have to forge with their strengths and their weaknesses. And they're going to have to get on the same page to be able to bring some control. But I really think to to have some stakes in season one, something should have happened either yeah. to Vic, either to like when that reveal came, I, w- I wouldn't have been mad if something happened. Like, then there was bigger consequences down the line. But it's just like, I mean, I guess they're just kind of moving at a little, you know, a turtle pace or whatever, trying to, I don't know. But I just feel like there were so many wasted opportunities with this whole thing. Um, Yeah, that's it for me. I mean, as far as Walter and Paul. You're right, because I thought when they put that out on the table and then when... um, when the daughter sort of affirmed Tommy, I just knew that, oh, here's the change of story. Um, Vic getting ready to blow his dad's shit out. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that, was, that was the first thing that came to my mind. You and know? he dared him to do it. He dared mm-hmm. him. He said, you can't even do it. Do it. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, so they, yeah, when I, he had the knife to his throat, he, he, told, he, he dared him to do it. Speaking of that, when he said, you're right, I'm not you, it made me think, like, well, did he kill his father? Like, what the heck? Why would he say that? You're right, I'm not you. 
Well, you know, they've been pushing. They've been could, pushing that 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 whole that little sequence. I've heard it a couple of times throughout all the episodes. He's not made like you, Dad. Mm-hmm. He's not, you know, he's mm-hmm. not built like yep. you. Mm-hmm. He's built differently. Well, how in the hell is he built? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's a lover. He's a lover. Yeah. He's, he's a lover. obviously a lover, not a fighter. Which is why he's no longer needed. His lover is gone. Kill him off. He's not needed. Yeah. Period. No. And then, like we, you said, missed opportunity, Nita, when they was like, um, remember I predicted that it was going to be, did I say Vic um, Lamont? Yes. Please, the receipts. Please. <laughs> Vic <laughs> and Marshall. And Marshall. Vic okay. and Marshall. Yeah. Right. So the missed opportunity, one that I will point out, is mm-hmm. them going to the lab and Vic not dying there. Yeah. Because you yes. received mm-hmm. a warning. You. This is why. You built up this warning of if he don't, you better bring him back, right? So to me, that made me feel like, oh shoot, something gonna happen. Mm-hmm. He's not coming back. Why? Why all that? I just, M- I don't know. Miss K, let me ask you this then. And since you pivoted us here, great place to go. If you would have felt like the story would have been more complete if all they had to do was take out Vic in that moment and keep the big ending where you wanted to see Vic learn the truth. That his daddy was behind everything. If you killed Vic, then he would have never found the truth, and we still would have lost Lily. Would you have been comfortable with that scenario? What I was saying was my cliffhanger or something like that was that one of them would die, and then they would find out. So it would be too late by the time they find. That was my cliffhanger. My prediction was that one of them died. Then they find out the truth. So now it's like, yo, we lost somebody because of your lie. So if Vic would have died at oh, that time, it would have been right. fine. That's Absolutely. right. I, I, I completely forgot. That would have been perfect. Forgot. I completely right. forgot. They gave cliffhangers, ladies and gentlemen. And Miss K cliffhanger was 100% right. Uh, she didn't, on her cliffhanger, she didn't say nothing about Vic dying. She said, this is Miss K, and I got the receipt. It <laughs> says... Dad, um, Vic finds out dad is responsible for all this shite. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Go all the way back from the mainland. But what they going to do, though? What they going to do? That's the thing. Which is why, I mean, maybe, can we treat this like a, um, an anthology? Yeah, if, if yeah. You, you know okay. what I'm saying? To where okay. Okay. we have a different villain every time because we don't need the Flynn's anymore. <laughs> Like, well, let's get somebody else. And but then don't y'all think, we gotta go to another they, for but, but they do don't that, help. though. They do that. <laughs> I'm freaking they, tired of these people. They do. Sorry. But, Moochie, don't you agree that they do that? Because in, in the original Power, after three seasons, you got more than on uh, what was the Tutti Fruity villain that I love? Lobo. After Lobos, they start bringing in all these other oh, antagonists yeah. in, <laughs> in New York. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we might still see T Streams emerging of Tommy having to work with possibly the fans, possibly CBI, yeah. because what True. if Dublin decides y'all kill our horsemen, which shouldn't scare nobody. I mean, <laughs> y'all losing them horsemen shouldn't, shouldn't be y'all. <laughs> hell, y'all might well give them ponies away. Those right. are not race horses, do you hear me? Just let them bitches go. But Dublin's going to be mad they lost them horses. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So that could, that could be something that <laughs> And the they Flynn was already just disp- satisfied with Walter Flynn's profits. He's not yes. making the money that he used to and make right. because yes. all of these new yes. drugs that are out. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. That's yes. what they were saying. Yes. It was like, you know, so they did leave they, it open, but though. they're willing, they're willing to still work with Walter. You know, but they got to right. more money. But they're saying, okay, so now y'all bringing violence and everything into it. Like it's mm-hmm. a little too much going on. We don't have enough revenue, and we got this violence going on that don't match up. He don't seem like he could do it like he used to. You know, right? But when right. I was saying, you know, right. obviously anthology is where you would have to switch around. You know, bringing a whole new storyline, new characters. But that's my joke in terms of like, what more? You know what I'm saying? Like, what more mm-hmm. can we do? Mm-hmm. That it's just like they didn't really. I feel like. If they wouldn't have revealed uh, Walter's hand and everything, they could have continued on, and you and and then find out. You know what I'm saying? You still got your kids under your your grasp, and then they could mm-hmm. find out. You know, but they didn't right, work it like right. that. And I don't feel like they should have killed Lily. A lot of people are saying it's because they wanted Diamond 
and uh, what's his name to get close to yeah. Diamond and Tommy. That, that could still happen. Yeah, they they the most Wallace. character development on Lily to yeah, kill her. Exactly. Like, that was and, and to have her life in danger so many different times. That's stupid right there. That's stupid. And he, can I make one more point? Is that yeah, yeah, somebody, somebody <laughs> says something. Somebody says something about, well, uh, Tommy has been going through this whole thing without nothing happening to him. I don't, I don't know if it was between Moochie and uh, 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 what's his name, Brillo? But Tommy's been, he hasn't lost people on his side or whatever. Okay, that's fine. But who were the people that were really lost on, on the um the ops? Between Diamond and um and the yeah. Flins? No one cares about Sai and Eli. Like, why would you kill yeah. such a big person that's so close to Tommy mm -hmm. of all people? That didn't make no sense. So if you wanted to kill somebody off of Tommy's squad, you could have got rid of the doctor, the chemist. Let, let, let me rebuttal T-Streams with Miss K. I, I, I'm with you because I didn't want to see Lily die. Mm -hmm. But yeah. if we if we treating this like an anthology, Tommy done lost basically two ghosts. He lost mm -hmm. a male ghost, which was ghost, and he mm -hmm. just lost the second coming of the female ghost, which would have been Lily. So mm -hmm. maybe they're trying to show us that Tommy's going through all this hardship and pain with probably the two people he cared about the most in life, more than his own mama. And they just want to show how, how he's going to have to grow as a character in torment. Now, mm. we, the viewers, we ain't feeling it because we loved Ghost, and we was well on our way to having that same level of love for Lily. And if they right. would have ran her with good stories the way she was behaving for four seasons, I would say she would have been as big as Ghost if mm -hmm. they could have ran her like four more seasons in that way. So, right. I, you know, do you feel like they done that because they knew we would be feeling salty about it? Or, no, I, or, I feel like they underestimated her, exactly. um, her role. I didn't they think killed that, her up too soon. I think that they okay. didn't think that she was going to be a fan favorite the mm -hmm. way she was. Yeah. And really? then that that was the way it was going to play out. And it was just like, oops, my bad. <laughs> it yeah. was like one of those type things. Yeah. Like, and Jim, mm -hmm. can I j just to say, Jim and I, Don said something about no, Eli was the loyal soldier. That's not the point. My point is that Eli is not a character anyone cares about, in and this, neither was Sai. In this okay, story. they may have been important to the ops, okay, but it's not enough to be like, oh, yeah, well, we killed somebody off of their crew, so now we got to get somebody for Tommy, and then you go for Liliana. That didn't, to me, that just didn't make sense. You could have, you could have got somebody else. That's all. <laughs> okay. T streams will coming your way, but let me read this. Demarcus Vaughn, ten dollar. Appreciate you, my homie. Oh yeah. And there are a few super chats that I miss. Shout out to y'all. I'm very grateful. I'm always trying to do the best I can behind closed doors mm -hmm. to share with everybody on this panel. I don't talk about it, um, but I do do what I can for him. So appreciate this. I make sure that it gets out to people. He says. I blame Vic for the surge retaliating on him and Glory because Vic teamed up with Tommy and killed a couple of serves. Claudia never knew Vic teamed up with Tommy. She going to know right. next year. She, her ass is going to know next year. And then we've got my man, um, Steve, $5. Tommy lost his dad, two lovers, and ghosts. Yeah, Tommy's lost yeah. people. Tommy's lost people. Tommy has lost people. And two strings, I'm swing your way with this one. And two of those now. people, he did himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good point. Right. Good point. Good point. So <laughs> T streams, was that and, and and this lure of power that we have, and all these stories going on. Are you upset that we didn't see exactly what happened to the Jews, or the um the the Hispanic crew? that Tommy was dealing Dahlia with. Because remember, <clears throat> Junkie Jannard robbed the Jews. And for those of y'all who don't think the Jews can fight, hell, there's been a holy war going on since the inception of life. <laughs> Them motherfuckers can fight. Do you hear me? And so, <laughs> these streams. What do you think we miss with the Jews and the Mexican folks that we didn't get a chance to see in the finale? Man, I, I think they left that specifically untouched in order to have a few different arcs to okay. move on. Mm -hmm. You know, I I totally I would totally disagree with any further arc dealing with the current situation right now. Uh, you know, the <laughs> Flynn's pretty much wanna, you know, they they pretty much ran the whole season 
without any consequence, without any, you know, without any consequences to the, you know, and there was actual, uh, there was actual issues that was going on with them that would merit some, some pretty heavy consequences, you know? Um, Mm -hmm. And so it almost, you know, if if you're just an outsider looking in, you would damn near think that they was probably like invincible, but (laughs) I don't, I don't think I would be interested in seeing the arc continue forth with them unless season two opened up with Tommy putting a bullet in Claudia's face. Mm. So, uh, uh, so that, that, that's as far as my interests go with that. But as far as like the, the, the essays and the Jews, you know, um, Jannard might have some repercussions from that. I think they, they probably intentionally left that open because now they have, you know, they do have different arcs that they can go through. Um, I don't think it'll be with the Serbs. If so, it'll be without Murkovich, as I, I believe he, you know, he transcended since, uh, you know, since they finished filming that or whatnot. Uh, so, you know, the guy that play him passed in real life. So I don't think it, it would go that way. And then, too, they had too many dealings with the Serbs anyway that really wasn't – that was put off as uh, filler pieces instead of treating mm. them like – like, you know, they was this powerhouse like they were supposed to be. You know, they, they you know, they played them like, hey, don't mess with the Serbs. You know, we ain't got enough people to fool with them and they this and they that. But they was really made quick shorthand of, you know, especially if you got Walter walking in by himself and just, you know, kill a small little, you know, kill a small little squad by itself and don't even break a sweat. And I don't even think he moved his head. And, uh, <laughs> You know, so um, but I think the problem would probably the bigger problem I could see being the Mexicans, because mm. now they want that product, you know, they they want that they want that product. And now they, you know, I'm not sure, you know, what the availability is going to be like, because you you, you still got her. I don't know how much she know to, to try to probably try to keep it reproducing or whatnot, but. Man, they, they left this season. They closed it, you know, action packed. But dang, they left so many doors open. A you lot. Know? Yeah, uh, I agree with that. A lot. Yeah, at, at this point, man, this story can go damn near three hundred and sixty different ways. You know, and um, you don't know, you think? Isn't that a good thing, though? Isn't that a good thing to have options? It's a good. It's definitely a good thing to have options, but at the same time, you, you definitely you definitely want to have some closure too. Because anything that's not closed, uh oh, like a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh oh, oh my bad. Oh, <laughs> the aliens coming. Oh, 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 oh. I was about to say, man, I ain't even finished writing my story. Yet. Y'all coming for you? <laughs> He was like, "What you thought you was having a uh, some uh, invasion of the body snatchers or alien?" I was about, I was about to go to that closet, man. <laughs> Close encounters of the third kind. <laughs> yeah, so body it, snatchers. Yeah, oh, so, so they de- is is definitely is definitely plenty of options to go, and I'm sure mm-hmm. the writers will probably have a, a great time trying to develop, you know, develop uh, different arcs for. You know, for next season, but please do not let it be the Flynn's. Oh, gotcha. Let me get Moochie in on this thing. Moochie, 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 I, Moochie. I believe they left that many options open because they got new writers coming. So now, okay. like you okay. said, mm-hmm. this story can go in 300 different directions. I believe yeah. you're right with that. I believe yeah, yeah. you're totally right with that. Um, However, I do believe that Claudia is going to come crawling back to Tommy for Ooh. help. Even though she can't be trusted, she That's is. Like, no, 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 she, no, no, she, she, she coming. Don't, she, she, she coming. She's gonna come crawling back to Tommy because Tommy was trying to help her and school her, but she did. She kept going behind his back every time, mm-hmm. doing devious stuff. You don't think Tommy gonna have that door closed though? I think nope. he I think is. The door is closed. But it, I think mm-hmm. he is. But if if Soto and the Jews come back for that product. What, what you, you understand what I'm saying? I mean, she got the cook. What she got the she has the cook, yeah. And he said he doesn't but want dogs no more. He, he has to, to kind I of know, like, I know he wants a broad spectrum of everything. 
Yeah, well, that's, might, that's, that's speaking to. too much right now, Tommy. He, he might get in a, in a, in a, how can I say it? He might get in a bond where he has no choice but to do that to get, to get, that's, get things moving. Right. That's if he what I was going to say. Over like he mm-hmm. want to take over, he going to have to handle, he going to have to have his hand in every type of drug. Remember, he's going to probably have to pills before. Right. Pills I believe Tommy's going to do what Mooch is saying. He's going to have to use Claudia as a piece to get where he want to go. Before he take her out, like I'm not, I'm not saying that he won't ever kill her, but before he do that, he is going to cross her path and probably have to use her to help him catapult to where he's trying to get. And then yeah, eventually, he do know how to make Dahlia. Right, right. I right. think. Listen, this is this is my theory. Like going forward, I feel like they should try to make Claudia and Tommy come back closer with the secret that she killed Liliana all the way down the line. And then later on, maybe in season four or five, he realized she did it or even she confessed or something happens that he finds out that she did it. And then with all the history that they have, then maybe he would have to be faced with trying to kill her. Like, you know, killing her right now, I, I... if he ain't killed none of the other people that he been in business and they burnt him, I don't understand why he would be killing Claudia, but people don't like Claudia for whatever reason. But I think all of them have burnt him in different ways and stuff like that. But I, I think to make it dramatic, I think maybe if he does have to get back into bed with her, make it interesting, make it like this secret. And if something happens and he finds out some kind of way, then with all the... You know, the same, almost the same thing with Tariq. Like, when he found out it was Tariq that did that to Ghost, like, all of he, like he went like he was about to do it. But was he going to do it? It felt, it could be like a tug of war like that. Like, this is my nephew. I think of him like that. Can I shoot? You know what I'm saying? Like, later on down the line, maybe that'll be a situation where he would have to kill her or something or do something to make her pay for what he did to Lily or something. Gotcha. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got 435 in the building. Let us get 435 likes, subscribe to everybody's channel or Facebook link in description, hit me on Twitter and hit me on IG. My link is in description as well. We played a little game last week and I'm going to take some time to play this game again. Not only did we make death predictions, but we made cliffhangers. And I'm going to read everybody's cliffhanger, and I'm going to let them reply. So we already done read Miss K. And Miss K, she got it right. Miss K is the only one who got a cliffhanger right. The only one on this panel who got a death right was me. But one of the deaths I wanted to see die didn't happen. So next year, we're going to be stuck with satellite orbit eyes again. So... I'm, I'm going to come to T-Streams first. Miss K, just sit tight. Everybody's enjoying looking at your aesthetic beauty. So we're going to start with T-Streams first. T-Streams. This is what you said. JP is about to go hood. Now, since that didn't happen, explain how you feel about the way he went. He didn't go hood. He went mama's boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was that was such a disappointment for me you know i was you know i was really hoping that uh god damn it jp <laughs> <laughs> and i was i was i was really I was, I was pulling for my man that that they would have some you know that they would have him boss up and you know just be like you tell me you find out who did this to my son and he was just yapping <laughs> it was just yapping, really, you know. And uh, yeah, you know, yeah, that yeah, he's straight. He's straight. Turn mama's boy for real, uh, you know. Oh, oh my God, that's sickening to watch. But, you know, it, is, <laughs> it is what it is, you know. It is what it is. And uh, you know, I I was hoping, Ooh. I was really hoping. That that would have been the case, but apparently I was wrong. It's not the first time I was wrong. I'm, I'm wrong a lot on some of these predictions. I, they just be going in all different kind of ways. But 
man, I wish they would have gave him a little, just a little more attitude. I mean, like, damn, dude, your your, your son shot, you know. And of course, you'd be happy to see your mom if you never met her, of course. But in the in the middle of battle right there in the heart of the war, that's, you know, ah, they, they put too much on his emotional side for me. Mm-hmm. So, I got you. Uh, go so ahead. I was Crawl. wrong. I was wrong, T-Streams. Two people on this panel got the cliffhangers right. Two people. Two people. And uh, I'm going to save the other person that was right for, for, the, for the end. Okay. <laughs> Moochie. Yeah. Oh, ouch. Uh-oh, Damn. what you cut? You gave yourself a paper cut? Be Damn careful. <laughs> Be careful. Oh, uh, can, can, I, can I say something to T-Streams? Um, yeah, cl- jump, on, jump thing. on in there. Jump on you in there. You know, you you may have been wrong, but they might be setting that up for you. True. Because he did um look uh Gennard in the face like you shoot you shot my son. <laughs> yeah. He did. You so did. He, you might not, you might it might be a build up to it. Yeah. Because remember, he probably never killed anybody. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be it's he gonna it's gonna work himself up. Yep. Okay. That's yeah. And, and you know what, T? We might even see JP kill is a his prediction. Right. We might even <laughs> see JP kill his ex boyfriend or his ex husband that quit paying the hospital bills. <laughs> in his time of need, you don't pull out in the time of need. You feel me, T Streams? Yeah. You don't pull out in the time of need. And that ex boyfriend pulled the hell out in the Love time it. of need. His, so, that was Mucci, his husband, right? Yeah, yeah. Husband, husband. That was his husband. husband. Husband, yeah, Yeah. that make it worse. Yes, yes. You said Holly's son would return. I remember I said that was a build-up thing. I said it wasn't going to happen this season. It could take some time with that theory. No hedging your bets. What I said, huh? Yes, I thought it was. it, It could be one of my cliffhangers, and I was wrong. I was wrong, but I still don't count it out. I still don't dismiss it. Oh, no, I still no, no, don't no. dismiss it. Absolutely. No. Yeah, we it said could, it, it was I'm not dismissing it. Two. It could still happen. Season and two. I thought like, I was going to see my cat fight, though, y'all. I wanted to I see it. I wanted to see it. It was so close. It was so close. They And they always give Claudia an easy kill. Yes. It could have happened. That's why I thought they was going to have a cat fight. Golly, yeah. and, and, and it's it's gonna be sad for me to have to interview both of the women that Claudia killed. I already done interviewed one of them. Uh, I'm not mm-hmm. saying that I'm gonna interview the next one real soon, but I mean you guys just be on the lookout and All everything right. like that. But <laughs> I, <laughs> look, look, I wanted to at least let Lily beat her ass like they do in <laughs> WWE before she got shot. Right. She, yeah, she deserved better. She, she yeah. deserved better. She deserved Get some licks in there, man. Don't yep. just let Claude, Claude kill her like a little old B.I.T. Man, and it was she, bad. She, she was gurgling and everything. Easy kill. Everybody she killed is always easy. The only one that kind of... Okay, Reggie, he, once she cut his eye, he was good as dead right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and with mine, she... Once I saw her talking her junk and saw the ice pick, I said, why is she talking with this girl with this tool? You know? Anything could happen with this. <laughs> I was so mad. And what made it worse, did y'all hear the way she was screaming Tommy's name when she got shot? Uh, oh, yeah, oh. that was so oh. sad. Aww. Oh, Lord have mercy. Like, yeah. Tommy, anyway. Aww. It just yeah. showed when she called him, it just showed that, you know, she she could rely on him. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it was like, he can't do nothing at this point because he had to choose between her and, you know, his brother. Mm-hmm, right, mm-hmm. right, right, and right. And and what did she say? The only family she basically had was Tommy. She yeah, didn't have yep. no other family. Yep. Yep. So neither the diva. I see you over there cutting eyes. Like, when you is know, this N you word going to get to me? We're going to let the girl go. It's all right. W- when is this N word going to get to me knowing that I got my stuff right? Neither the diva, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> she got it right. She said, Kate Egan returns. Speak on it, Nita. Take your victory lap. She really wasn't a cliffhanger a little mm-hmm. bit, but she came early. She came like really, really early in the episode. I thought she was really going to come at the end. 
But the fact that she right. came early, I don't know if you call it a cliffhanger, but we still have more story to build out with Kate. So, mm -hmm. yes, I'll go ahead and take my victory lap for that. I think it was <laughs> obvious for everybody. I think everybody thought yeah, that Kate pretty was much. coming back. It just so happened that I said it first because I was the first one called. <laughs> <laughs> but it was quite, quite obvious that Kate was coming. And um, I I love the scenes with her, like all the oh, yeah. scenes I yeah. enjoy, especially in the hospital. Who that white bitch out there <laughs> in the hall? That's your grandmother. And she like be, like to she be like it, oh, bitch. God, you yeah, know, was... so keep on doing that. Keep that. That shit was funny as hell. Bro, it was so stupid. I loved it. I loved all of that when she was like, oh. He looks nothing like me. I said, bitch. <laughs> it, was just, it was so she much like it. with her character, even when her and Tommy met up. My Tommy. Mm -hmm. You know, and then they kind of fell back into their own little banter with each other. Give me one of them smokes. Yep. You know yep. what I'm saying? So right. it was just, I, I enjoy Kate. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't like her. She's not a good parent. Right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But I enjoy her character and how it plays in the power universe so yeah me too and, she, and, and she's a great actress to play that role like mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if y'all seen her in some other stuff i have but the chick can act now i mean this chick she is talented and um before i reveal what i got wrong i gotta ask you this nita are <laughs> oh we going God. to see are we going to see at some point in time next year someone heard of this phrase grandma bitch <laughs> <laughs> Not grandma, bitch. No. I don't know. Well, she what, might bust him up behind that one. That's, well, that's what Tommy told him. I don't know. I mean, didn't didn't uh, know. I, 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 I just see him calling her Kate. Her a cunt, right? Didn't didn't. Who? Oh. Did Kate call her mother a cunt? She was like, that "Yeah, she did." She, she said did. something about she got um she smoked M money four packs smoked a day. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So she don't have. She was like, the acronym you used for Miss K? See, See you next, next Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> See you next Tuesday. Oh, See you no. next Tuesday. <laughs> now, 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 ladies and yes, gentlemen. Yes, Peggy Bundy could play her. The per, um, yeah. Sons of Anarchy, the mother. Yeah. She could have yeah. played um, Kate Egan as well. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. and, and you know what? She has a show, a show where she's the lead lawyer and she's knocking that shit out the park. Y'all go check that shit out. It's real good. Okay. Um, now, I joked and I said that this character probably won't gonna get no more significant time because he broke up with the writer, and damn it, I guess it came true. Mine was too big. We ain't oh. seen his ass since him and Courtney Kemp broke up. Bye. That's in his career. You think I that's it with him? You think we're not gonna <laughs> see him no more? At least on power. At least on power. That, that I mean. The fans I didn't know they were an item. I'm okay with. Yeah, they were. No. Yeah, they were. I'm fine. They were. I, I, I didn't we, even understand. Look, the we know Miss K I fine. I, I, I see you down there, Miss K. Yeah, yeah. We know you <laughs> fine. <laughs> you yeah, Miss K don't want nobody to come in. She don't I want Blanca. She don't. She don't want Blanca. She don't want Two Bit. She want brand new characters because <laughs> her attention keeps switching. <laughs> They don't want none of them old heads no more. I didn't you know? buy. Look, I was wrong about Liliana because I just yes, tattooed, yes. and then yes, I, I was like, "This is yes, my girl did. now," you know. And they done took my heart, mm -hmm. but they didn't give Jerks. us much with Lil Liliana in the first power. So the fact that they gave no. us so much more, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But and I feel like Two Bit she character, we know his character, and I don't like Two Bit. Like I don't think he's a cool dude. Like I don't understand why he. People, but you know, he's a man. The streets. I don't the understand why people he, clamor for him, but they I clamor for nothing him. good about him to me. They <laughs> clamor for him because he's like a true street dude. Yeah, exactly. he didn't fall. Exactly. He got the yeah. feds was trying to press him. I don't, I, you know, I know y'all saying y'all don't like him, but I'm just telling you a like, grimy what, way about him. I, I mean. The streets like is grimy. Yeah, the streets yeah. need a body. If, if yeah, he street comes stuff. back. They, yeah, but my girl Liliana wasn't she was gangster mm -hmm. without being grimy, and I loved it. Yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 <laughs> she was. But then again, she was a woman, and girl power. I'm with it. And she did. I'm with it. But they can have some good men, too. <laughs> Name one. You don't believe that? 
Na name one of the king. Name one of the kingpins that's been a good dude. A good no, no. Dude no let, let me let me say name two because I I just thought of one, but he was <laughs> one out of a thousand. Name two from a TV show. TV show. Um, I think that Bumpy Johnson is good. That's the that's the one I'm thinking of. Mm -hmm. That's I that's the that's the, when you, when you that's said the name only two. one that's in my head. I'm thinking of the only one. Um, Ghost had some good qualities. He had some ways. I mean, had good he, qualities. Had, he had some good yeah. qualities. No, I'm talking about to the point where you can say that. Look, he had to be a monster in some ways to stay on top. We already know that because he had the right. threats. He knew how to deal with his threats. But to be somebody that was that was willing to send away Liliana and that other chick, um, what was her name, Maria Suarez, he was always trying to protect. If he didn't, if he he was trying to find a way not to kill people in in a lot yeah. sometimes. Mm -hmm. So to right. me, that's a good quality, and, and it's okay. overall. But somebody said string a bell. I disagree. Child, yeah, I, I would have, I would have yeah, loved to say, I would have loved to say string a bell, but no, y'all go grimy. Yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> say string a bell. I would. I mean, I think it's mostly, I think it's mostly the 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 Oh, yeah. Lord, I have no, 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 don't get in the corner. Yeah. Don't get in the corner. Don't get in the corner. No. <laughs> oh, oh, is and then, you know, I would say mostly him, but you know, there, there's I believe okay. they're saving yeah. that for the end, Auntie Mike 11. Yeah. I believe they're saving that for whenever it gets to the end. You right. know how some people right. write the beginning and the end? We yeah, she got to grow up. Night. She got to grow, gotta up. grow up. Who y'all talking gotta about? Grow up. Uh, um, um, Eliza Marie. Eliza Marie. Marie. She better um, grow up and mind her own business. She gotta grow. Nah, I believe. Right. She, I believe she's coming back. I, it's like we Definitely. talked about it last night. It's gonna be like on some Kill Bill shit, right? <laughs> she's gonna, gonna put him in jail, miss, jail or she gonna put him in the ground, right, yeah. Ronald Cameron? Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> and, and, and Tommy so, already said if you want to come after me when you get older, you know. I, I understand. That's that Kill Bill bull crap. Yeah, but look, they love taking stuff. I would want to so see weird. it, just like you want to see um the girl that killed Vivica Fox daughter come back and kill. I don't care about that. And kill, but you know what? I still think mama. it's coming. I still think it's coming. Look, if I it comes, coming. if it comes, it comes. But I don't really care. Look, I kind of don't care. That's gonna be power. book ten. Lisa Marie's revenge. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be honestly that would be the perfect way. To kill Tommy, but they've done that before on Boardwalk Empire with Nucky Thompson. I don't know if y'all watched that. Yeah, but they, they had remember the son. That. Yeah, they had the son. How you? I remember it. I know. I'm just saying, like people. <laughs> Power don't care. Right. Yeah, they sure don't because they be taking stuff from a lot of things. And as no do it again. you can do that. It's fine. You know, sometimes you can recycle things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like they be taking yeah. stuff from um Godfather. <laughs> Air, everybody be recycling everybody. Right. Yeah, stuff. I mean everybody. everything is not new everybody. under the sun. Everything is no. just right. kind of recycled. But like, when, when you take it from like the thing that I have about power, I feel like power takes from their own universe. Like if you maybe mm -hmm. take from something of yesteryear, that may be fine. But yeah. the fact that we keep on having the same um, right pattern in mm -hmm. the in the same universe, that's a problem. That that yeah, feels sure. a little lazy. Yeah. Yeah, I, ladies, I, I'm gonna let T Streams get the last word before we get out of here. T Streams, the floor is yours. Anything you want to riff on? How about it, my brother? Yeah, I, I think that, I think they do that because you know right now is actually is working. You know, it's like why change something that's working? They already got everybody tuned in every right. Sunday night or every Wednesday night, whatever they they show come on. Yeah. So you know, I don't know. I'm eager. You know, we get a little break from it for a little while. I'm glad they decided to uh, renew it because I I think just a couple of weeks ago, you know, it was sort of up in the air whether or not. Uh, Force was going to get a second season or not. It won't never up in the air. That was 50 Cent making bulge. I was never up oh. in the air. Okay. It was, was going to get renewed. Uh, so, you know, uh, I'm eager to see what direction that they take with that. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it probably won't be to next year sometime. I don't know. Uh, by the time the other ones get done, this year will probably be long gone before uh, – before force run back around again so i'm you know i'm in it for the long haul i i, I really want to see i really want to see them like really push you know 
really pushed Tommy to his full potential. You know, they they building him up. Now he ha- he has a shitload of enemies, and you know, ugh, some you know some of this stuff. We need some closure to some of it. You know, you know, uh, huh. yeah, that lady there. Uh, so, so that's about where I'm at. That's about where I'm at with it, man. <laughs> I might have to go. You know, I might even have to go watch it again because you know I'm I'm like I'm still sort of like I still got mixed feelings about it. You know, but mm-hmm. uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's I'm been a cool. pleasure to entertain you guys. I will see if this crew wants to do a prediction show maybe next week, or if they want to do trending topics. I'll make sure that you guys get your your your, your black people dahlia. I'll make sure you get your black people dahlia next week, which is what y'all do with us. Um, But just remember, we'll be back Friday night because I got another sheet of paper. Where is that Uh one? Uh-oh. With snowfall predictions. I got another sheet of paper. That's what I'm waiting on. So, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, man, don't look, worry. Friday for us, y'all. Friday. Say my no, man. You can't Steve. change nothing right now. You can't change nothing. Oh, you wasn't even here, was you? Nah, I, 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 could, I didn't make yeah, it. Yeah, you got to let him get his own. Let, 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 let him get his own. I don't even okay. remember mine, to be honest. Man. Oh, oh well, I got you, baby. I got you. Let me see here. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for you. writing it down. <laughs> did you uh, did, did you see Aunt Louie and, and, and Wanda on, on P Valley? Well, both of them. I did see yeah. Wanda. <laughs> I ain't see Louie. I saw, Louis, I saw Wanda. Out. I didn't see Louie. I gotta go look at the trailer again. I ain't I ain't know my friend, I'm know pretty my sure they looking right cute in everything. Oh, oh my! You right in nothing. Every they looking cute in nothing. That's right. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. all yes. done up, Wanda. Mm-hmm. The yes, yes, Wanda. Yes, she yes. all done up. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. Go girl. And so, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen, we definitely gonna be doing some P Valley up in this joint. So you might well get ready to see them for that, but. T strings, go ahead and make your prediction. Would you like for me to read you out predictions that have already been made, or you want uh, to? Please do. Okay, okay, all right. I feel so, like it's new to my ears, even though I I played a position. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? Oh, that, there's two people <laughs> who I don't have predictions from that wasn't here. I also don't have them from Nita either. Uh oh, I wasn't here. No, no, remember? Oh, you wasn't feeling well. You wasn't feeling well. Oh shit! Yeah, right. Yeah. So, okay. ladies and gentlemen, you you getting bonus material? We are careening into snowfall. We're getting finale predictions for deaths, mm-hmm. two of them, and we're also going to get a cliffhanger from T Streams and um, Nita. So, T Streams, if you want to give me your predictions, um, let me tell you who Moochie took. Oh, Moochie took Backshot Buckley. And Jerome. Okay. <laughs> and let me tell you who my homegirl, Miss K, took. She took Learning Leon. No. And my aunt Jerome. Damn, if he, if Jerome died, my tissue shades coming yeah, out. Yeah, you got to bring them tissue shades. Yeah, you're going to have tissue shades out. Shades out. Man, damn it. <laughs> I, I should have put, put Wanda, but you said we can't switch, but it's okay. Did you no, say you, the cliffhanger? You, you can switch right now if you want to. You can switch right now if you want I, to. I want to switch. I think that's a little stronger. Mm-hmm. I think that'll be something that'll bring Leon back out of that revolutionary situation. He's going to be back on that street stuff. <laughs> okay. oh, see that happening. Right. Okay, so <laughs> I'm getting rid of the right now. Okay. Yeah, All yeah. right. I got it. So, Miss K, <laughs> on my list now, you've got, um, uh, you got Jerome and Wanda. All right. And okay. let me give you let me give you Moochie Cliffhanger. Franklin pulls the trigger. He shoots Louie or Jerome. Who and said that? In... <laughs> Moochie. Moochie. That's my in girl. The very, in the very <laughs> end, Franklin pulls the trigger. He shoots Louie or Jerome. They black the screen. We don't know who the hell he shot. <laughs> that sounds like some snowfall stuff, too. Yeah, oh, but let, do. But check this out. Check this out. Larry had some good ones too. So Larry's death prediction was Jerome and Franklin. His cliffhanger is Franklin. Oso and Teddy are in a gunfight. They black the screen. You hear a shot. You don't know which one is dead. Oh, so man. Hey. oh, he said something. Oh, wow. 
Mm -hmm. All right. And Miss K's um, cliffhanger that in the very end, Sissy is tripping and we see Alton return. Yes, oh. indeed. <laughs> That's what y'all working with. Y'all working with that. some heavy material. That's what y'all working with. So, T-Screen, <laughs> roll that big D. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Music, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, man, so this, you know, these, like, like the last three, four episodes, I've been like, like, extremely negatively infatuated with one person oh boy and oh boy. um you know because they they doing too much oh boy they doing way they doing way too much and and it's causing all kind of unnecessary issues don't so, get rid of her don't get rid of her don't man. get rid of her Really she right. got a new job now at the stripper store. Oh, 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 <laughs> she had the pink. She had the pink. She so, had the pink. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. You know, there's there's definitely, <laughs> the tension is too high. There's definitely going to be a confrontation between Franklin, Louis, and Jerome. Now, whether or not this this takes place with all three of them together at one time, mm -hmm. uh, who knows? But I do think, I do think. See, Louis, you know, she she's trying to she's trying to little bro Franklin. You know, she's trying to little bro him. And I mean, at the end of the day, they didn't made millions off my man, and they didn't. She didn't. He didn't. Pretty much gave him interstate distribution. You know, and you know now she come around and we'll give you a uh, one part of L.A. Please, you guys, you you are now a threat. Whether you know whether or not you you know you you look like it or anything like that. That whole the the whole last two episodes was pretty much showing about the whole family exploding or imploding, and so I think that. I think that Franklin either directly or indirectly has something done to Louis. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Who else you got for who else you got dying? Ooh. I don't want to see nobody else go. Um You know what? <clears throat> I would probably say to make it interesting, mm -hmm. I'd have to say it's Gail. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, V. Okay. Well, you about to somewhat contradict oh, my cliffhanger. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, let it go. Right. And and so what's your what's your cliffhanger? <laughs> Oof. Let it go, baby. <laughs> uh -uh. Oh, this is gonna Almost be good gossip. It out. This is gonna be good talk Friday. We're gonna be out here two out, hours team. Friday. Oh, Man, a good, good cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. I don't even, I hadn't even put too much thought into it, man. I want Louie to die so bad, man. Y'all look, y'all just have no idea. Like it's like it's like oh, it's personal. It's personal. <laughs> she has to go. Um, man. You yeah, would you like I, me to I go think, to Nita first and come yeah, back? I, to I you? think that was, I think the, the I think the best cliffhanger that they could that they could possibly do. Is reveal that Alton is not dead. Okay. That's, that, yeah, that's. Okay. I, I mean, every. That's you know because, uh, sissy, you know she got something going on because she believes he's dead. Franklin believes that he had him killed or that he's a part of this. You know, the the way the whole meeting between him and, um, him and uh, old boy met at the close of the previous season. You know, it, it left doors open. So, you know, he could be, he can't be, you know, or he, you know, may not be. You know, and then they 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 brought this uh they brought this season in with him flashback and having, you know, seeing his dad back when he was on hard times, I suppose. Uh, the that's the only that's the only cliffhanger that I think that would merit some good, really, really good attention if if he was not dead and somehow 
you know, made it back and I don't know if he can make it back and say today, but he'll definitely make Sissy proud. Okay. All right. Nita, your two deaths and your cliffhanger, then I'll read you guys what I got as mine and then we'll be out of here. Alrighty then. Okay. So my death predictions are because I think the writing is on the wall for Jerome to go. Mm -hmm. And because Louie is a woman and everybody wants her to go, I'm going to go with Louie. Okay. I I listened to um, Jerome and Louie's IG stream today. And Jerome kind of was talking about her in the past tense. Mm. <laughs> Sorry about that. that. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> oh I said, I was, that was my son. Did he, did he watch the IG live? <laughs> <laughs> he was kind of talking about her in the past tense, and because everybody wants Louie to go, I'm going to go ahead and go with her. And okay. even though I think the writing is on the wall for Jerome, I'm going to go ahead and go with her. And the other one. It has to. I, I really want it to be someone that really makes a difference. We're going into the final season, um, and maybe since Wanda is going to P Valley, maybe I'll put her on the chopping block as far <laughs> as um, caught in the crossfire somehow, some way. Especially since Leon is back to feeling his feelings for her, or something like that. That could be like a one of those writing on the wall types of things. And okay. as far as the cliffhanger for me, I'm mm -hmm. going to say the cliffhanger, I'm going to agree with Miss K about Alton returning. Oh. And I don't I don't know if they're going to resolve it, but I'm I'm thinking we're just going to see him. But if we see a little bit more like we saw a lot more of Kate than what I thought we was going to see, if we see that then I'm I'm happy with that too, but um yeah, I'm hoping that we get to see something with Alton because I think it's a a big, big thing. Or either get some kind of uh, reveal about Veronique either way because I, 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 don't, I just don't like everybody being against her and she hasn't even really done nothing. But okay. we know why. Okay, so. Anyway. Gotcha. Well, ladies and gentlemen, these are my predictions. No one has mentioned them. They've been on this paper since last week. <laughs> I got Sissy kicking the bucket, and I got Avi kicking Ooh. the damn bucket. No, Jesus, no. Yes, I wasn't mad at Sissy. Yes. I feel like she yes. might have, I don't know. Yeah. She was acting. She's been <laughs> writing her, I mean, she's she been, doing you know what they, say, what they say, paying your own death, writing mm -hmm. your own she's death. She's earning her own death. Earning Absolutely her death. Right. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And my cliffhanger is... This individual gets shot. We hear the heart monitor machine going ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. And then all of a sudden we hear two ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Then we hear a flat line beep, and they black out the screen, and we don't know which one is dead. What am I talking about? Veronique and the baby. Veronique gets shot. We hear two heartbeats. Then one of them black lines, and we don't know which one is alive going in the next season. That's my hey. thing. We can't hear you, Miss K. We see you making faces. And <laughs> oh, I said, I said they're both dead. <laughs> oh, no, no, she did. No, she didn't say they. Both yeah, that's did. what I was thinking. You said I thought you said both of them flatline. No, I said one well, of after, them after Veronique flatline, the, the baby, baby. flatline. Right. So, but that's it. Unless they get the baby out. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. but she's too far. She's not advanced enough right. for survival. I know. She's not even showing like that. Man. That was with, in his LSD thing LSD. where he saw her showing. This is TV. And just to show <laughs> as JP didn't need to go home and get no damn paper. I am still a respiratory therapist registered, by the way. He ain't need to go home to get no damn piece of paper to show no doctor for his son 
They just be making up stuff, and they if they can make that up, they certainly can make up a situation. You man, sound man. like Martin when they didn't cut the um, uh, the umbilical cord in the baby. He's like, man, this is TV. This is TV. <laughs> exactly. Well, when, he, when, he shot, when that baby shot out, he yeah, like shot out, he caught like a football. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is TV. Yeah, I know, and caught it right in the towel too. I was like, yep. damn, go yeah. ahead and do the Heisman pose, my brother. I know that's all that had to be done. Was that next? <laughs> yeah. So y'all, we're out of here. Be sure to subscribe to everybody's channel. We enjoy entertaining y'all. It's fun. We can get together and do this. I'll be back Thursday with the Living Legend. Then I'll be back with the Freaky Friday Night Crew, which is all these beautiful faces. Till that next sex is hell video. We're going we'll to Miss K's channel. Well, um. Oh, you right now. Well, oh, oh man, shoot, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to go check them out. They're going to their channel right now to do some wire talk. And I'm not hey. talking about the kind that's in the circus that you walk across with no net that you see all the white people doing. I'm talking about the TV show, <laughs> The Wire. Go check them out right now. Subscribe uh, to their channel. It's on Miss K's channel. We out of here. See you guys. Thank you, Lamont. <laughs> Thank you. No